Well, a county in the New River Valley is reeling tonight from the tragic death of a community leader. We've learned that J.B. Buckland, a 33-year veteran on the Giles County School Board, local business owner and farmer, was killed in a farming accident yesterday. The 73-year-old died after falling into a hay baler where he was trapped for nearly four hours. 10 News reporter Rachel Lucas spoke to the community today about his death. The entire community here in Giles County is mourning the loss of J.B. Buckland, a man who leaves behind a legacy of a lifetime of community service. A testament to the respect he had. Local farmers are bailing the hay Buckland started yesterday before his unexpected death. But he won't be remembered by the tragic way he died, but instead for the way he lived. You can't look anywhere <laughs> in this community and not say something that touched. A man county administrator Chris McClarney says was more like a father. Extremely benevolent, uh, just one of those people that uh, can't be replaced. Although he retired in 2013, he was still involved with helping children, volunteering when he could. A plaque still hangs at the Giles County School Board office commemorating the 33 years of service Buckland gave to improving the quality of education, 28 of which he served as board chair. He was dedicated to the school system, but he was also dedicated to Giles County. He wanted what was best for the students at, uh, of Giles County, the teachers of Giles County, and the uh, citizens of Giles County. He was known for a true grit that made him successful in owning multiple businesses in addition to running his own cattle farm. Everyone came in contact with him, you know, it's, they're better for it. Remembered for his hard work ethic and kind heart. His impact, his legacy will be felt forever. A memorial service will be held at Narrows High School from 6 to 9 on Saturday. In Giles County, I'm Rachel Lucas, 10 News, working for you.